What's going on guys? Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. Today's video is all about the ladyfish. I'm going to show you how to fillet this thing and not just fillet it, but I'm going to show you the proper way to process it because you guys have probably been told your whole lives ladyfish are trash, they're junk, they're too bony, there's no way to eat them, but that is not true. I'm actually going to have a video linked below of me personally going out and catching them and cooking them and I'm going to show you guys a neat way to cook these. Ladyfish are great for a fish paste, ground fish, or fish ball type recipe. So, six inch flexible filet, and these are our edge guards, which you guys can find linked below. They come in the six inch series, seven inch, eight inch, and tiger edge. So we're gonna line our ladyfish up with the edge of the filet table, right here behind the head and around the peck fin. And we're just gonna go all the way down from the head to the tail, just superficially along the outside edge. And they're very scaly too, so definitely knock off those scales because you don't want them in your filet. Now what I'm gonna do is take my knife, rest it on the fish's spine, so not the backbone, but the spine, and just run all the way back up towards the head. Now, you guys are gonna notice that ladyfish is very mushy. That's why you see all these little pieces of it flying everywhere because that's one of the reasons people don't like it because it's mushy, but that doesn't mean it's not good. It just means you know how to have to know how to properly prepare it. So once I get my ladyfish filet all the way to the backbone, which is this bone that runs along the center, what I'm gonna do is break through the pin bones right here. You guys heard that sound, okay? Now go on the other side of this fish's backbone and kind of point the tip of your knife down and just continue the fillet along the spine. And you got to be pretty gentle with it because it's a fragile, fragile fish. So now watch this. I know some of you at home are probably thinking, uh, I'm a little intimidated. I don't really want to eat it. It's kind of mushy right here behind the head. Okay. Around the peck fin. This time I'm going to go this way from the head half towards the tail half. And let's, you know what? Since they're so scaly, let's rinse off our table a little bit. As well as our knife. Okay. From the tail half towards the head, get your knife on the spine and just work your way up. Now take the tip of your knife, go on the other side of the backbone. Okay. I don't care how good you are at filleting, this is what ladyfish looks like when it's filleted. It is just a mushy, mushy fish, and that's why so many people are afraid of it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this carcass real quick. Poke the eyeballs since we're on a canal and you don't want it to float. Now, very important in processing your ladyfish, keep the fillet table clean. Get rid of all these scales because they're going to end up in your yield. I would normally never recommend squirting saltwater fish with fresh water, but since there are some scales on the fillet, I'm going to knock those off. This is where I'd say the majority of people probably are not going to want to try this. I've tried it myself. It's delicious. If you've ever had a fish cake, ladyfish is the perfect fish to do it with. What you're going to need is a kitchen spoon. You could use a butter knife, but a spoon is definitely the best thing to do. If I were to skin this and flay it like a normal fish, the reason people don't like ladyfish is because they have these tiny little feather like bones everywhere and they're impossible to remove from the fillet. So the traditional way, especially, in Asia to eat this fish is to take a spoon. We're gonna run from the tail half towards the head half, push down 
and scrape the meat away. Now when I do this, those bones are gonna stay attached to the filet and all I'm gonna be left with is ladyfish. The color of ladyfish is great. It's, it's very white. And now you guys can see why I really got rid of the scales and make sure your table's clean. Because if you're doing this, you don't wanna be mixing scales into your ladyfish. And running your spoon up from the tail half towards the head half. Not going too aggressively because you don't want to accidentally get bones in your yield. And you guys will see that the ladyfish kind of has natural ridges and they'll kind of guide you as to where to go with your spoon. But you gotta go from the tail half to the head half so you're not going against the bones, but right now we're going with the bones and making sure they stay attached to the ladyfish itself. Just to speed up this video, I'm not gonna do any more, but you can really get meticulous with this and go until there's almost nothing left. So I'm gonna go ahead and discard this. Now, if you guys look at here, this is very white, whitish pink fillets. When you smell it, not fishy whatsoever not oily. I've personally eaten this. Like I said, I'm going to have that video linked below. What you guys can do with this now, it's ready to eat. You can make it into fish balls, fish paste, ground fish, fish cakes. There are a lot of different recipes. If you guys are interested, just type it in on YouTube, how to work with fish paste or make fish balls. And it's delicious. And it's something new and exciting for you guys to try. And I highly encourage it. It's what fishing is all about is trying new things, right? And not letting you know, you might have a bad day where all you catch is ladyfish, take it home. Now you guys know how to process it, how to clean it, and make the most of that day. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any of the knives I use today, I'm going to have them linked below, as well as that video with the recipe. And I'll catch all you guys in the next one.